Well, today we're looking at uh, a couple of more bits of merchandise from the Batman. Not just Batman, the Batman, or the Batman, or as he says his name is in the film, Vengeance. Um, so, I previously seen in my Adam West collection video, uh, they've done a series of these. Oh, it doesn't show the rest of them, but they've done a series of Batmobile 3D Ages, and you get the, a die cast car and diecast figure. The figures are generally released separately as well in the Little Metal Figures sets. Um, but I saw this one, they're down to uh, a tenner in Entertainer, um, and I've not seen this one before, so I figured I'd pick it up because I absolutely adore this sort of Mustang style Batmobile from the Batman, the scene where he just swishes it on and then it conks out. It's just great. I love it. Um, and then also we've got a Batman figure, so while I was in the entertainer getting that one, I saw this one and I thought, oh, I'll give it a go. Um, so this one you get a mystery card, Ooh. and it's the Batman, Robert Pattinson. Uh, I did see they had the standard 12 inch, you know, I've uh, got the Batwing one, and uh, yeah, like my viewer said, the, the cape on the standard one is awful. Um, they do do one on the motorbike as well, which again, all this Batman stuff is really heavily reduced. Um, but the, the bike just looked like a, a bog standard motorbike, um, so I didn't bother. But yeah, so we're going to get him out, see what his articulation's like, and we'll uh, get this out and have a look. So let me get those out, and we'll see what they are. Okay, so the uh, Batmobile comes on a nice background of uh, dirty, dark Gotham. Um, the Batman figure looks like a standard Batman. They've just painted up to be the Batman. And the paintwork is pretty sloppy on it, to be honest. Um, I have repainted these in the past, but they're really, because they're die cast metal, there's very little detail on them. They're almost, the paint job makes it. So if you can get a good one, have a look. See this one, it's got all black under his armpits and that. I think it's meant to simulate the armor, but he's not wearing light gray armor in the film. The Batmobile though is gorgeous. It's really nicely detailed. And it's got opening doors and it's got a, a crash barrier inside, a roll cage. I do like the lines on this Batmobile with the, the absolutely hilarious jet engine on the back. Um, doesn't seem to do much else, nothing else opens, wheels turn, but for a, for a tenner that's a gorgeous Batmobile. I think of the film Batmobiles, other than the Tim Burton one, which I do like, uh, this is sort of second to, to that. It's how, how a Batmobile should look. Um, let's have a look at the figure. Well, I've got the figure out, and he's pretty good. Um, lots of articulation for the size. The cape is just a piece of, sort of nylon that does the part. So he's got all jointed head. Um, the paint is very thickly applied. I might remove the chin paint and repaint it. It's super thick, covering up a lot of the detail, I think. Ball jointed shoulders work really well. Um, the elbow joints are a bit of a letdown. So they've got cut and swivel, get your foot out, cut and swivel elbows. But that's straight, that's as far back it can go. And that's as far forward, so literally that's the, the movement. Uh, fixed hands, uh, ball jointed. Uh, hips, cut and swivel knees, and that's it for articulation. But it does the job quite well for these sort of style figures, especially when you compare them to the, the Marvel Retro and that way. Everyone seems to be going back to five point articulation. Um, or as Broken Vader says in uh, Retro Blast in seven point. Um, so yeah, it, nice little figure. They always seem to get Batman right. You get a few accessories so you get a clip on I presume it's meant to be uh, a bulletproof vest for Batman so that just clips on bulks him out a bit fits well doesn't look too silly you also get the Batarang I think that's standard and a sort of weird Batarang gun which is molded in horrible orange plastic why didn't they do it black I suppose they're trying to get some toy color um, and he holds it okay but it has to have this weird peg because the hands are just round. Um, the uh, secret card, 
I'm not sure what this is meant to do. So you get, looks like it's got a window there. Let me, uh, let me put this up in the holder so that we can get both hands free and see what we can do. Does it come out? Oh yeah. Oh, okay. I see. Well, I would if I can get out. So it's a, a card that's drawn over so you can't, it's like, oh, I can't tell what it is, even though you can clearly see it's the Batmobile, even on that. So you put it in the evidence window and it magically, if you can get it in, because it's a tight fit, whoop, removes all the cross hatching and that, and you can see that it's the Batmobile, but you can see it just as clearly when it's not. I think that's a good idea. It's a nice little, I like little gimmicky things like this. Used to, remember you used to get them free on comics and things like that, I used to love it. So that's a good idea, I quite, I approve of that. Um, the figure, yeah, he's, he's good, I like him. Um, very basic, but he's going to look pretty good on the shelf next to all my other Batman figures. Oh, is he? oh I thought he had for a moment, he had um, uh, ankle movement, but he doesn't, it's just the way it's moulded. Oh, he, he has a swivel joint on his um, top of his leg, on his thigh. I did not realise that. That really helps. Okay, so he's he's getting even better. No waist joint. I mean, the Migos could do it in the 70s. I think figure producers could do it now. Uh, the arms are the biggest letdown, because that, that's literally, that's it. If he wants to scratch his head, he's got no hope. Um, and that works well with a little clip-on belt. I think it actually looks better with it. It gives him a bit more bulk. Um, yeah, so some good stuff out there. You can get pretty, pretty bargain-wise now. They seem to be selling it all off. Um, grab it because it will disappear and you'll never see it again. And then the prices will go up on it. But thanks for watching. If you want to see more Batman stuff, let me know. I've got quite a bit. Um, please like and subscribe if you can. It does help the channel. Please share if you want to. If you know any people that be interested in my channel, let them know. And thanks for watching. I'll see you again next time. Thanks then. Bye.